Hello YouTube, welcome back to Hands-On Auto Training. We have a 2013 Ford F-250 with an example of a CAN bus problem. First I gotta tell you guys, unfortunately I did not record at a few points that I thought it was. But long story short, here we go, plow truck that was towed in, no crank, no start. So we have no printle operation, but note that we do have a check engine light. So I did do an all DTC scan, I did not get that recorded here. But I did get a network test and we see a no communication with the PCM and no communication with the ABS module. Uh, I always like testing at the DLC. First I tested the voltage between pins 4 and 5, the grounds. Very low voltage there, 23 millivolts, no problem. Next, I wanted to test a medium speed CAN bus. We had 61 ohms. This is good, there's no problem there. Next, we test the high-speed CAN bus, which is pins 6 and 14. We had 190 ohms. This is no good. We are expecting 60. At this point, I decided let's take a look and see what the scope shows us on terminal 3 and 11. This is the medium-speed CAN. This is medium-speed CAN high. And this is medium speed can low. And both these signals look good. Next we went to terminal 6 of the DLC. Terminal 6 is the high speed can high. And this signal looks terrible. This is no good. Next I went to pin 14 of the DLC. And this is high speed can low. And this is not so good either. You can see the rounded edges there. So back to the high speed can high, this is definitely bad. Looking and knowing that we had a problem with the ABS and the PCM, I decided to disconnect the ABS module and see if we had a change in status on our network. And once I wrestled that thing off there, uh, we still had a bad signal on our high speed can high. So I disconnected the PCM next and retested And lo and behold, we have a CAN bus that looks good once I turn that key on. It's very odd. With the ABS and the PCM disconnected, we have a good pattern. That's our CAN high, and there's our CAN low. I had to take a look at a diagram, and I saw 58 and 59 of C175B. Uh, are the CAN positive and CAN negative for the high speed bus at the PCM. Here I'm testing the CAN low and it's testing good at the PCM. I didn't catch on camera the CAN high speed bus was flatlined at the PCM. There was no signal there. I had to double check a couple times to make sure that I had the proper terminals and I sure did. So I had to go back and look at a diagram and figure out this CAN bus. So here we are, pin 6 and 14 at the DLC are CAN bus. We know that. This branch is off into two different sections, and we had to figure out which one was which. So going on to the next diagram, uh, I knew we had communication with our steering column control module. That was good. Also, we had communication with the restraints control module, and that was good. So this vehicle did not have a parking module, so I'm not even worried about this part of the diagram up here. No, not a factor. So moving along to the next diagram, here's our uh, PCM and our ABS. Um, looking at this, just so you know, if you have a diesel, you have to worry about that half. We're not worried about that because we don't have a diesel. We're just worried about this section right here. So we know that we have the high speed can negative good. The high speed can positive was bad. So I'm looking for a place in this diagram to find where we can isolate the system. And looking here at C210, I did not have the high speed can high signal. It was a flat line. At C212, I did have the CAN high speed high signal. It was good at C212. It was already after hours. I decided to go ahead and get a little barbaric here. I decided to cut between C212 and C210 the CAN bus, both high and low. And then I jumpered them. And this is what we had.
more than likely our problem is going to be at this splice 377 somewhere after that splice. I bet you there's going to be corrosion up there uh, along the sill plate of this. I'm waiting for my buddy to get back to me and we will uh, hopefully he'll text me a picture and I'll post that for you guys real quick. I hope you enjoyed this video. Most of all, I hope it helps somebody learn something about testing a CAN bus. It's really an uh, awesome system to test. I enjoy it. Have a great day.